Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall do the questions given in figure it out of chapter 7 fractions on page number 179. The question is add the following fractions using Brahmagupta's method. We already know what is Brahmagupta's method. So the first question is 2 by 7 plus 5 by 7 plus 6 by 7. Now here you see all the denominators are same. 7, 7, 7. So just add up the numerators and keep the denominators as it is. So this is 2 plus 5 plus 6 by 7. Okay. We don't add the denominators. We just add the numerators and keep the denominator as 7. Now 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 30. So this will be 13 by 7. Now here you see the numerator is big and the denominator is small. So if we want we can convert it to a mixed number. And how do we do that? You divide 13 by 7. 7 ones are 7. Subtract we get 6. Okay. So 1, 6, 7. So we will write it as 1, 6 and 7. So 1 whole and 6, 7 is the fraction. So you can write it like this, 13 upon 7 or 1, 6 by 7. Let me write it properly. Here, 1, 6 by 7, we write 1 whole and then 6 by 7, like this. Okay, you need to write the answer like this or like this. Moving on to the next question, 3 by 4 plus 1 by 3. Now see here, the denominator is 4 and 3. So we cannot add these fractions. First, we have to make the denominator same. So, for that, we will find the smallest common multiple of 4 and 3. So, we can do 4 into 3. 4 3s are 12. So, we can make the denominator 12 for both. Okay. So, first we will do 3 by 4. 3 by 4. If I want to make this 12, I will multiply by 3. So, here also I multiply by 3. So, this would become 9 by 12. Next, 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3. 1 by 3. Multiply 3 by 4. 3 into 4 is 12. So, here also multiply by 4. 4 by 12. Okay. So, now 3 by 4 has become 9 by 12. And 1 by 3 has become 4 by 12. These are called the equivalent fractions. Right. Now, we need to add this one and this one. So, 9 by 12 plus 4 by 12 same way denominator same so add the numerators 9 plus 4 is 13 13 by 12 and to convert it to mixed number divide 13 by 12 12 ones are 12 1 so we got a 1 1 remainder 12 so 1 1 by 12 so this is the answer for the second one Next one is 2 by 3 plus 5 by 6. Denominators are different. So we need to find the smallest common multiple which is 6. The smallest common multiple is 6. So first we will take 2 by 3. 2 by 3. 3 into 2 is 6. Right. So multiply by 2 here also. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 by 6. 2 by 3 becomes 4 by 6. And 5 by 6 will remain as 5 by 6. Because the denominator is 6. Right? So it will remain as 5 by 6. Now add these two. 4 by 6 plus 5 by 6 equals 4 plus 5 is 9 by 6. 9 by 6 we can cancel. 3 2s are 6. 3 3s are 9. So that is 3 by 2. Now we can convert this into a mixed number. 3 and then divide by 2. 2 1s are 2 1. Okay. This is your rough work. So now 1 1 by 2. So your final answer is 1 1 by 2. Okay. Now moving on to the next one. 2 by 3 plus 2 by 7. So we see different denominators. So we need to find a common denominator. We will multiply 3 and 7. 3 7s are 21. Now we will change this denominators to 21. First we will take 2 by 3 and multiply by 7. 
two sevens are fourteen, three sevens are twenty-one. Okay, two by three has become fourteen by twenty-one. Now two by seven, we will multiply by three. Two threes are six, seven threes are twenty-one. Now we will add these two equivalent fractions: fourteen by twenty-one plus six by twenty-one. Fourteen plus six is twenty. Twenty by twenty-one. Now this is a proper fraction, and we can leave the answer as it is. So the final result is twenty by twenty-one. So now we have completed the questions from A to D. Question number E onwards, we will solve in our next video. Hope this is helpful to you. Thank you.